Hey, what's going on, guys? Nick and I here, teamed up with Master Off, and today we're bringing you episode one of a podcast series that is yet to be named, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. You want to tell them a little bit about it? Yeah, so we basically wanted to sit down and chat about what's going on, mainly in the mobile gaming world at the moment, because that's what we both focus on. Um, and obviously, there's been a load of new stuff coming out recently, and we're just going to chit chat about it to a degree and have some gameplay going on in the background. Yeah, I'm just playing on my iPad. I know you were going to put some live stream footage. The background doesn't really matter. It's just kind of yeah. there to fill the space. It's us. Um, Look at our beautiful faces. It's just our beautiful tag team faces. Exactly. And then both make sure you check it out on both channels, which will both be in the descriptions below. Definitely. So I guess we've got to start off on the biggest thing at the moment, which is the Clash of Clans update. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that dropped and it went pretty crazy. Um, the maintenance break was really long, I thought. Two hours. Oh, yeah. I was sleeping through it. Oh yeah, you yeah. I was like, Nick, get up! You need to yeah. record for the videos. I woke You're up like, to like Skype messages galore, and I was like, oh man, the update's out. I would yeah. rather it came out in the afternoon, but it's okay. That's the thing. They don't. I mean, they, I know they schedule it, but they don't tell us when it's going to be out because I know so many people are there like twitching their thumbs for the exact moment that they can get their hands on it. Yeah. Um, and spend their gems, but it was that's the, that's the other thing about the update is that it's utterly pointless. For like seven days, if you're not gonna gem. Pointless for seven days. Yeah, I mean, not... that was like a three hundred dollar gem day, at least in my yeah. videos. Yeah, I I didn't buy everything because I'm not such a big gemmer. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta well. just do it for the videos. Um, I mean, I did all my archer towers except one, and I had like twenty two thousand gems for that video, and I was able to only do six. But uh, whoa, Pretty it was crazy. definitely a crazy most. Like the last update didn't use any gems. I don't think I don't remember what it was anymore, but. Um, I think it was just Clan Wars improvements. Yeah, it wasn't much at all. Or it was like the wizards. We all thought something was going to happen to the wizard. Uh, yeah, I think that was just like a mini troop spotlight or something. But yeah, that was that was kind of odd because we were all hyped about like a, a wizard hero or like I don't know an upgraded wizard, but nothing really came from it. It was just we got to see what his hair looked like. Yeah, and that, that was kind of it. I mean, it was pretty funky hair. Don't get me wrong. And I've seen that advert about like a hundred times on TV now. Yeah, they're going crazy with it. I'm watching like Comedy Central and stuff. I see Comedy it, uh... Central was crazy for it. Yeah, I don't know. It's it was weird. And Every then I episode... saw it for football. Well, yeah. soccer. Or... Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, literally, I was sat in the pub, and on one football match, there were three adverts for Clash of Clans. <laughs> And it was crazy. I went in. I actually went into the opticians today. Going a little bit off topic. Uh, I went into the optician today, and I said um, he asked me what do I do, and I said oh I play Clash of Clans kind of as a job um, thing. And he was like oh I've heard about that. Yeah, the advert has like a barbarian running at a wall. I was like <laughs> it's obviously working. I mean, yeah, that's if he knows about it. Yeah, it's definitely exactly. Working. I mean, this was an opticians guy. They're not <laughs> they're not the the gamiest of people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he knew about it. But anyway. So what's um, your uh, glasses prescription? My glasses prescription. I actually have to get glasses for driving now. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I have um something, but I don't know what it's called. But I can read like close fine. I don't have to mm. have it when I'm working, but when I'm driving, um, I need to have them because I, I can't see signs that far away. Like to me, it's fine because I'm not used to any difference. But when Charlotte's like, how can you not read that yet? Yeah. And I get closer and I'm like, ah, now I can read it. Now yeah. it says 30, and I'm going, like, 80. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an 8. Or a yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine, but... I was able to pass the vision test without them, but I, I wear contacts every day now since this year, but only because once I put them in, in, like, war glasses, I was like, wow, this is so much better. I wasn't used to it. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. He, like, said, okay, now I'm going to take these glasses off. Like, I had perfect vision. It was, like, HD on the wall. Yeah. And then I took them off, and I was like, whoa, this is, like, going to 360p everywhere or something. It is. It's like when a video gets uploaded at 240, and every top comment is, why 240? Yeah, God, why don't you upload in better quality? And it's then like, the next well, comment is, like, you must be new to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get off the comment section. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty funny, but... Um, anyway, reverse back, rewind. Well, I don't even know what we were talking about. Back to the Clash update. Oh, yeah. The lava biggest hounds. thing is the Lava Hound. Um, been really mixed reviews on it. Yeah, some, really I've heard it called a pig with wings. I've heard it called <laughs> a useless sack of lava. Um, yeah. I've heard it and called the greatest tank. thing since sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Some of those were just kind of not really things, but... Um, it's just... It was one of those troops that everyone's just going to get it. You know, it's like a meh. It's kind of like a healer. Like, it's not going to kill anything, really. No, it's pretty handy. Like, I've done a few raids with, like, Balloonians with two of them to kind of soak up the air, uh, air defense, which works well, but yeah. for 30 housing space each, 
it... uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I I don't notice any difference whether I put hounds or whether I put more balloons. Like I yeah, personally exactly. don't notice because I just freeze the air defense and rage them in, in the same way. Yeah. Um, and then it's if a bit it, strange. I, I don't know. It's weird. If now people are just gonna pups. put. Yeah, the pop the pups actually do more than the hounds. I love which the pups. Is crazy. I would have the pups just explode straight away. Yeah. And just have a load a of pups come out for it. A suicide button when you... <laughs> yeah, it's like, give up, get out the pups. Like, I did a couple of raids. Like, I did it on Sherbet Towers, just... Um, wait, is that video going to be out yet? Oh, either way, spoiler alert. Um, I, I did it on Sherbet Towers, and they three-starred Sherbet Towers by wow. themselves. Nice. I mean, I did not expect it, but I raised them up, and then, like, probably half of them split into the pups, and they just, like, cleared the base while uh, the hounds distracted, which I guess is what they're for. Yeah. Um, but it worked really well. I was really surprised by how well it worked. Yeah, I would just blow them up on the outside and use the pups as, like, minions. Yeah, definitely. They are minions. Like, I had a minion and a pup next to each other, and it was just, like, a minion on fire. Yeah, basically. That, that was all it was. It was, like, a minion from hell. Um, so it's kind of... It, it's not a cheap one, but it's kind of like, you know, there could have been something a little bit better than that. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? There's still four more spaces in the dark barracks. Who knows when oh, we'll yeah. get them? But uh, since oh, yeah, they're only sure. for Tunnel Nine, at least we know there's something in the future. Yeah, exactly. They've got a lot of space to play with, but at least it wasn't the only thing in the update. That's you know, I mean, the level 13 arch towers they look great, but again, it's just more more hit points, more health. Yeah, it, they do it's not. They do. Uh, I don't know. I noticed that. I won three out of my last four defenses right before this video, and I'm not sure if it was because I just did all my archer towers or my new base design. It's hard to tell until it waits a little while, but yeah. lately everyone just talks about how to two-star like every base and champs in all these videos, so at least the defense got a little bit of a boost. Yeah, exactly. I I mean, every little helps, really. But yeah, because I know they're expensive, that, though. If the Lava Hound would have been a really good troop that you could use all of its own, it would have made... There's just too many modifications to offense and not enough to defense lately. Yeah, I think that's the thing. They always try and balance it. They always try and bring out, you know, one with the other so they don't have too much attacking options and too much yeah. like, defensive hype because otherwise you just... You can't break through it at all. Yeah. But, and then, I guess with that, with the Arch Towers, was the, the general thing was to bring Barching to level 7. Yeah, the uh, barge which, is pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm they actually, know people do that to champs now, don't they? I'm actually barching as we record this video. I'm doing a ah. live raid, and I'm, I didn't even bring my queen because of how strong these level 7 troops are. Hopefully I could win, though. They are, yeah, that's she the thing. Still building. They, they are crazy good. They are crazy good. And they, they weren't too expensive either for the, for the extra that they give. I thought they'd be a lot more money. Yeah. But they're not too bad at all. But, I don't know. I, I still was hoping for that a little bit more. Um, and I, I, one thing that I was actually not upset about, I didn't go cry, um, but the way they did the sneak peeks, and they did two sneak peeks for the troop, like, you know, the first sneak peek was, oh, there's his, there's his eyes, and the second one was, oh, there's the rest of his body. Yeah, he almost was three sneak peeks, because it was... Dark uh, Barracks. Dark Barracks, eyes, and then troop. And it was kind of like, I feel like we've seen this troop three yeah, times exactly. now. It was like, as soon as they announced the Dark Barracks, it's like, okay, so there's going to be another troop, and it's going to be something larvary, because look at the base. Like, sorry, look at the barracks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that stinks. I'm at 49%. I may lose this raid. I should have brought the queen. Yeah, stupid barge. Barging point. sucks. Yeah. Level 7, what's that all about? Yeah, that was a tough base. I was just curious. Yeah. Oh, well. But then with that, like, what would you have changed? Like, what do you want in the next update? What is there um... to really add to the game that's that's not there i mean there was also a little bit i think like we look over the little things don't we like the replays that was quite nice yeah actually i've been really enjoying that and it's uh it's cool to break down a raid i did a video today yeah. showing all defense and i broke down uh i basically just paused it a lot yeah exactly it's just like right here this is happening you can like go forward whereas before it was like oh my god this is gonna happen then this is gonna happen wait one second you've got to like yeah, fit it all into this one raid yeah you're just catching up to yourself consistently just over yeah there. Which was good, I guess, because it means it's it's quite quick and, and snappy, but then when you really want to go over one bit, you miss, like, the other half of the raid because you're explaining something that happened. Yeah. You know, 30 seconds ago. Yeah. Um, then you can dismiss stuff as well. I think, it, was that the final thing? You can dismiss troops? And then the hero regen time. Uh, oh, and the, yeah, of course. That's actually pretty useful because it used to cost me almost 
uh, 110 gems. It was like 109 for the queen yeah. and king now, which is uh, over a dollar. And that's, that's quite a lot. Uh, that's, that's a lot because if you're going to yeah. like raid with the queen a good amount. And now I was, I was streaming yesterday with the new update and I just boosted the king and the queen and they were always ready before the spells and when the troops were done, which was actually really nice. Oh, that's cool. So it's like that's the perfect nice. amount of time now. So what did they do? Did they half it or was it... Uh... Uh, well, the queen was like, I think, two hours and 15, and now she's an hour and a half at the level I have. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's oh, a substantial amount off. Yeah. It was definitely. definitely over two hours, like maybe two hours, five minutes. It's like one and a half hours, I think, almost exactly. That's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. But yeah, I think, you know, there's the, the little tweaks that they need to do, but I still think the heroes, speaking of heroes, they need to go back to what they used to be, because at the moment, they seem the most idiotic heroes ever. Yeah, I know... I was just seeing today some people were putting out some AI issues still with the heroes. That seems like a tough thing to change in the game, but they definitely seem like they changed that update when they took a hit for damage. Yeah. And then they yeah, never yeah. really come back. Yeah, I mean, they're still great, don't get me wrong, but they're not, you know, they're not quite what I think people expected. Yeah. Actually. I mean, I don't have as many issues with the king as the queen, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. But there's, that, that's our run about Clash. <laughs> That's that's clash done and done and done. But yeah. the thing that's noticed, like the last what month, there's been so many Clash of Clans esque games. There has. Oh. Like off the top of my head, uh, Star Wars Com Commander. Oh um, yeah. I was, I've been playing that one on my second channel. Yeah, I played a little bit of it. I just I don't know. I got a bit bored personally. I've never seen a Star Wars film. Uh, like I have when I was really little, but I can't remember what goes on. I don't know the story. People uh. always slate me for it. <laughs> yeah, but, it's a pretty epic thing to not know anything about. <laughs> exactly, but I've never just... I don't know. It's Is just, it not as big in the UK? It's massive. Oh, okay. Absolutely massive. Probably the same size as it is in in the US. In so it's like you just had some bad uncles or something and never showed it to you. Well, I watched it, and I have a fond <laughs> memory of playing an old Star Wars game uh, with my dad. It was like the first game I remember playing. Okay. Um, so I've, I've played the games a lot and I, I enjoy the games. I like lightsabers. I like all that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool. But the, the films, I don't know. It's been one of those things that I've just missed and uh, I always want to watch it, uh, but I'm never going to get to. <laughs> I'll load up Star Wars to keep the topic relevant to what I'm playing. There you go. That's going to go. be good. Even though we sound like we've already kind of covered it, but, um, a lot of games have been coming out, some better than others. I feel like this one has the audience aspect, but there's some mechanical things that aren't really there. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, I think, where was it on the App Store? I'm going to have a look where it is on the App Store. Oh, it went I, really high. Yeah, I'll pull up my App Store over here so we get to the U.S. charts. Uh, top charts. I'm on the U.S. as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was, it was somewhere like, it came, I know it's, it was 5th. It's 15th currently, but it was higher than that. What, and the free or grossing? Grossing. Yeah, it's 30 on yeah, free. 30th on free, and 15th, 15th on grossing. grossing. Boom Beach. Just behind Boom Beach. Yeah, it's actually cool. And then <laughs> all these the first stupid point. slots games, and then Heyday, and then Clash at the top. And then Fire Age, I honestly have tried that game. I've tried to I give it a it. chance so many times, and every time I hate it after about an it hour. It sucks, right? It is so bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm not... To anybody who plays it, fair play, but... Yeah. I mean, it just looks... I have friends that are like, no, I don't play Clash, but I play Fire Age. I'm like... Uh, and then I'll, then I'll re-download it and I'll try to give it a shot. I'm like, maybe I'm just missing it and I just, I don't like looking at it. It's not a fun yeah. game to look at. No, and it's like, don't you have to do it in, um, like, it's vertical only, yeah. portrait all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's... I even have it on here, but I'm going to delete it again. It's huge. <laughs> I bought Five Nights at Freddy's on Top Paid. Really scary. I know it's been out for a while now, but... It's actually scary. I've watched some videos on it, but oh, I've never played it. I hate playing it. I, I loaded it up in a stream and then I had my brother play it last night. It's just terrifying. Is it? Ah, oh, it doesn't look scary. Is it? Was well, it about a teddy bear? I could show. I'll pull it up a second here. I'm not gonna play because it it's like not this kind of setup. Oh wait, I have to flip my iPad over. It also only goes to the right. But you're in a booth, and right. you can only like, you can look to your left, and there's a doorway. You should turn the light on to see if there's anything in the doorway. You can look to the right. There's a doorway. You have to turn the light on. You can close the doors if there's a guy coming into your room, and then you have to look at the security cameras to see where they are in the building. And they just move around, and you have to pull the screen up to look at the cameras and put it down to see if they're in the room. So sometimes you put it down, and they're literally standing right in front of you. It's a jump game. So that sounds 
rubbish. And you have to turn to the right, <laughs> and like you have to keep turning, and you're, it's yeah. it's just complete blind scares the entire time. So, but I'm what? Gonna... But it, it's actually good fun to play. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, okay. I was getting out of the game. I'll yeah, have to give it a shot uh, then. It's on PC. It's not on Mac, and then it came out on the App Store. But the PC, I'd recommend for the full scary experience. The the iPad is, isn't as scary because it's kind of just like you're holding it. Yeah, you might drop your iPad. Yeah. You that's, do that. uh, Speaking else. of new iPads, new iPads, why was there no iPad? No, oh, like why was? I was looking like, at Mac the, rumors today. Uh, the lack of iPads really annoyed me. I was like, oh yes, iPhone six, iPhone six plus, awesome. Where's this iPad? They're like, oh, one more thing. And I think everybody else knew it was going to be a watch, and I was there like, yes, here comes the new iPad. Uh, and it was, and it was a, it was a watch. Yeah, the watch has watch. been hinted for a while, at least on the nine to five Mac and Mac rumors, but. They're saying that uh, later in October, there'll be another event that they're going to be holding. Let's okay. see. Okay. Event October 21st. There's a media event Apple just announced uh, for the new OS X Yosemite and new iPad re- uh, revamp. Oh, okay. Well, that's exciting. So what, it's just going to be just for the iPad or is that like a rumored thing? Well, there's something like it'll be the Mac operating system and iPad, so... Cool. It'll still be a pretty big announcement. I was, yeah, I was pretty upset when they didn't announce it. I mean, it, I mean, I, I honestly don't see the point in the iPad Mini anymore. The now mini. that they've got the six plus. Yeah, I have a Mini, five, Air, and iPod, but I'm gonna try to get the six plus, and I think that's gonna replace my Mini. You're gonna go um, pick it up in the morning, right? Uh yeah. In two days, okay. it comes out in stores here. I'm gonna try my hand at just waiting in line. <laughs> What time are you going down there? Because I also am waiting in line, obviously not where you Let's are in the see. UK. Store opens at 10 for business. Like, I don't know, 5 or 6 maybe? We're going, it opens, ads opens at 8 and we're going there at midnight. At midnight, 8 we hours? Are, we are, it's in a big shopping mall, so we're going to sit there. I'm going to get the Clash of Clans on. I'm going to try and get onto their Wi-Fi to stream it. And oh. stream some Clash of Clans in like in the queue because I was reading up somebody did a, a, like a whole Twitter post last year for the iPhone uh, 5S release and yeah. he went at 6 6 p.m. the day before and he was like oh there's already 10 people here and by midnight there was already a queue of about 100 people wow well, which is crazy and I, I'm kind of doing it for the fun like rather than being one many, of those sweaty how many stores are near you I have uh, Bristol Bath I have like two stores within like 40 minutes Okay, because I have a five stores within forty-five minutes. I'd say. Oh, okay. So it'll yeah, be a little right. more dispersed. The uh, the need. <clears throat> yeah, actually, no. I have three. I guess that's not too bad, but I don't know. I've got an iPhone six reserved, um, but I haven't got a six plus. Mm. I want that six plus. Like the reserve six is fine, but that's obviously for the giveaway. But for the six plus, it, that's for me. That's that's like my baby. Yeah, I think. I have big hands. I don't know. I've showed people in my streams, like, I'm holding an iPad Air right now, and I could hold it sideways. Um, yeah, I, I can hold my, my um, hands. iPad 3 sideways. That's like... Like, you mean yeah. you can get, like, your thumb and fingers? My thumb and pinky will go the long way and hold the iPad. So you put your thumb and pinky, like, across. So put your thumb on the home button. Okay. Can you touch uh, the top of the other one? Oh, yeah, I go, I go over like, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. So, right. we got big hands. That's, that's what we were just figuring out here. The, we're just <laughs> figuring out big hands and we so the the 5 feels so small and every time I have my air, I put it down and I pick up the 5. I just like don't even want to play the oh, games sure. on it cuz it's like squinting. So Yeah, it's you it's like unplayable almost. I mean, this is this big model is what's keeping me from I probably would have switched to like a Note 4. Yeah, that's the thing. I like I, I have ready. my Note 3 and the Note 3 has been my savior because <laughs> because of the size of it and and like the note 4 looks amazing and you've seen the note 4 edge no it's basically a note 4 uh but instead of one of the side bezels there's another screen on the side what it sounds strange right so it has the, the normal um 1920 by 1080 uh, actually i think it's just a 16 by 9 ratio okay. um but i don't know what the pixel density is it might be 1440 um, but then it has on the side a very thin extra display, uh, but it's it's curved and it is part of the main display. Huh. It's the weirdest thing ever. And basically on there is all your Android buttons, so your your home, your messages, and it's always constantly there. I don't know if it's going to work, but it looked pretty cool. That is pretty. 
a little different, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. I don't know personally if um, it's going to work, but I'll, I don't know, might get a bit hands-on on it. Yeah. Also, while we're recording this, iOS 8 is launching today. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it seems just like new features. Uh, I actually have had it on one of my devices because I have an Apple developer account for a few months now. It's it's pretty cool. It's uh, a subtle change, but definitely a lot of new features. Yeah, I, they always used to do like, you know they did the really big update? Uh, when they announced it was like maps and a compass and stuff like that and there was like these massive new apps and everyone was like oh my god I can now see I don't know why you want a compass on your phone um, but but you had one I guess if you're like in the woods <laughs> yeah that often but then you just open maps surely it's like I'll oh, just see where I am yeah I think the compass works without connection I could be wrong oh is it like so built like, in so if you have no service you could like tell how to get north I think it's built in like even though that wouldn't preferably help. Like, really, you wouldn't yeah. know what's north, what's south. You know, yeah, you'd I just be like, so. I'm going north. That's, yeah. I'll, end, I'll end up, like, at the top of the world. Antarctica. That's fine. Yeah, for you, you'd like, okay, if I go north, I'll definitely be in Canada soon. Yeah. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> That's home. <laughs> That's exactly home. Yeah. But it's kind of a strange thing. But going back onto to um, similar games, uh, Star oh, yeah. Wars, what did you think of Call of Duty Heroes? Oh, Call of Duty Heroes, okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's a big name, uh, big audience. Yeah. The topic is successful. The game itself, I think, needs work. It felt like a PC game, right? It felt very PC. It didn't feel Apple at all. Like, the yeah. app should have been on Android and PC. Or, like, it also felt very beta. Um, yeah. A Which lot it was, the, to be fair. Yeah, it was. The buttons, like, the bezeling, the colors, the shading, the... Everything about it seemed very flat and not very responsive, like how you expect it to feel when you touch it. Yeah, nothing was... Um, that's how you expect, is it? When you touch something, it should be responsive. Yeah. I see. Like these, a big thing in these games for me is, you know, the zoom, the touch, the tap. Yeah. How quick does it respond? I always judge it like that. I'll pull it up right now so everyone can see. Yeah, that's the thing. You could, like, you could turn the, turn the camera, you could zoom in, you could, like, uh, go lower to the ground, higher to the ground, and it was the concept was really good. But it, it just didn't work. And they, they, there was no need for it either, really. To be 100% honest, there was no need for it. The game itself? Or the no, turning? No, like the, the kind of turning and all that fancy mumbo-jumbo. Yeah. I always think, like, whenever... For example, when I play Sims 3, I have one fixed camera position. And if I change it a little bit, I get so angry because it looks so different. Yeah, all the games with the, the twisting that's very popular right now is cool, <laughs> but I always get used to it from how it loads up and that's where i'm gonna leave it yeah same i'll like maybe look around and go oh yeah that's that's nice from this angle that's fine but then you just like i'll just go back to you know this is the bottom on the base this is the top of the base yeah because otherwise it's like learning the looks of a new game kind of yeah so at least that's our opinion guys yeah obviously this is all our opinions but um you guys might have your it own it could be your favorite game if you're australian <coughs> I, think, I think it's australia and canada only or maybe just australia New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. So if you're punching koala bears, yeah. you're in luck. You can, you're you punching can download koalas, us. hunting some great whites. Yeah, jumping in kangaroo pouches. <laughs> we'll be all good, mate. I don't know if that's if that's how Australians sound, but it's the best I could do. But then I think the final game that we need to talk about uh, in like new games, Clash of Clans style, is one that I am really enjoying. Ah, uh, yes. Guess. Plunder pirates. Plunder pirates. So yeah. this game kind of came out of nowhere and Literally all of us out. youtubers were sent codes for it yeah it was so. really exciting it was like rovio it's like oh that's Rov i mean rovio is a big company in its own yeah yeah you know, it's angry birds well that's it angry birds there we go we're done <laughs> that's all yeah. we need to mention that's all we have to mention they owned um, the app market for like five years they still kind of do like looking at the app market now yeah. they just released stella Okay. Angry Birds Stella, and um, that is... They've got, like, Star Wars, like, Re HD, regular, epic. There's, like, a, so many Angry Birds variants. So many. I like Angry Birds, but I don't like it that much. I was never that good at it, to be honest. It's really hard. <laughs> you just had to fling a bird at some pigs. Yeah, I just wasn't that good at it. I don't know why. I, I never... <laughs> it's just I, not I something I do in my free time. I just didn't play Angry Birds as much as everyone else, I guess. I just... I don't know. No, one thing that always got me was that you could see your bird, but you couldn't see your target. You had to, like, mm. guess where the target was going to land. I think but, in you know, the new ones you could zoom out, if I'm not Yeah, I think crazy. you can. 
it's like Angry Birds is top paid. He's you know thirtieth still. And yeah. this is when did this game come out? Like when um, the iPhone came out? <laughs> yeah, probably when the App Store came out. Angry Birds it, was there. It was like the, one of the first ones, which is just crazy to still yeah. still be there. But I guess that's the thing. Once they once they kind of stick, um, well, they stick. That's it. Yeah, they and then I that. worked in an Apple store, uh, both just doing the regular sales and repairs for iPads, iPod He was touches. a genius. I did work at the Genius Bar for a little while, and... Well, between all of Apple time, it was like over like two and a half years maybe, but Angry Birds was such a casual, like even like grandparents who were buying iPhones for like their granddaughters and grandsons knew the name Angry Birds. So it was like such oh, a, yeah. like a household name. Exactly. It is a household name. And now we went, I went to actually, I went to Thor Park the other day uh, with my girlfriend for a birthday and whatever, and there's an Angry Birds land. Really? It, it's like all the rides, you know, like a, one of the rides where you you go up, 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 and then it just drops you to the floor, and that's like the ride is finished. Yeah. That's called the detonator, and it's basically the big black bomb uh, <laughs> Angry Bird. That's what it is. And um, then they had like the Angry Bird 4D experience, which was which was actually really, really good. Like the seats moved, and they sprayed water in your face, and huh. yeah, it was really good, but it's like this game started off with a few guys just like oh let's let's throw some birds at some pigs yeah and and you know now they've got this this name that is known around the world yeah it's, it's pretty crazy and then you go to uh kid stores and there's puffy little bird uh oh yeah right and stuff. yeah yeah like i mean who doesn't want a stuffy pillow of a bird <laughs> i that's, don't know and i've got a zombie to be fair from plants versus zombies so Ooh, that's pretty cool i guess that's the only way reason you wouldn't want one exactly Exactly. They're pretty so nice, I'm playing some uh, Plunder Pirates as we talk about it. Plunder Pirates. Oh, yeah. Well, with Plunder Pirates, because they announced it, um, well, it's coming out tomorrow, right? Yeah, it comes out tomorrow globally. Which is, very funnily enough, the day before the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are launched. Ooh. Um, and if you actually, well, I say, I say it like that, but if you go onto their uh, notes on the news feed, uh, they actually say it's now been optimized for iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Ah. So, um... Because there's this new thing in the iPhone 6, I believe, called... Is it metal? Metal? Metal, yeah. Not like as in aluminium, not aluminium. Oh. Um, aluminium. 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 We should do a section where it's just differences between the UK and the US. <laughs> what, you say a word and I'll reply with my, <laughs> with my version of it. Jaguar. 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 I say Jaguar. Yeah, you... Yeah, I like okay. a, a hybrid. Most people was like, "Oh my god, get in the Jaguar!" <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's got rather Jaguar. Um, anyway, where was I going with that? Uh, metal. So there's there's apparently this GPU kind of process, or maybe it's a new chip. I'm not 100 percent sure. Called Metal, which is optimized for mobile gaming. Ah. Um, and I know there's new games coming out, like the one that was shown at the con- uh, developers conference or whatever it was, the keynote. Um, Vain Glory. Is that it? I think it was called that. Uh, which I don't was, know. The uh, keynote kept cutting out for me, like everyone else. So uh, it was kind of weird. I didn't watch the replay. Um, but it's like they're, they're basically making games. Like it was one of the big things about the iPhone Six is this new game engine. I'm not quite sure what to call it. I'm sure someone down in the comments will tell me I'm an effing idiot and this is what it is. Um, but you know, it's something like that. Yeah. Oh wait, I'll see the technology. Here we go. We've got the uh, A6 ch- A8 chip and the M8 nice. Mate. M8 motion M8. co-processor. Motion eight, yeah. Um, so. Metal iPhone six is what I'm gonna look at. Oh yeah, at. metal right raises the game to get the greatest yeah. graphics performance out of the A8 and iOS eight. We introduce metal, a new technology that lets developers create highly immersive console style games for the iPhone. Okay, so allow yeah. the CPU and GPU to work together to deliver detailed graphics and complex visual effects. And it was like a really big thing that they said, which to me means they're really going to push mobile gaming on the iPhone 6. And I guess that comes yeah. with the bigger screen. It does, yeah. So you can see. Oh, yeah. There's that new, was it the new MOBA style game that they just Yeah, that was it. It was the oh, Touch yeah. MOBA called Vainglory. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. If something like that can go to iPhone, then it's going to be unstoppable. Like, oh, it looks that's amazing. That's the new biggest it? computer gaming out there is MOBA, League of Legends, all that stuff. Yeah, do you know what that company's called that make it? No. Oh. Super Evil Megacorp. <laughs> Isn't that the most awesome name you've ever heard that for a company? Good. I was just like, when they said it, I, was, I just like, I gave him a clap. Just like, yes. 
<laughs> Whoever thought of that name? Super Eagle and Take Eagle Mega Corp. Because one day it's going to just be the number one corp. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be the, the big thing. They start off with Vainglory, and then they'll like, build their way up. Vainglory. <laughs> and, uh, how, is, how do you spell that? Because I don't know how you're saying it. V-A-I-N. Oh, Vainglory. Okay. Vainglory. Yeah. Um, and I think that could do really well. I'm, you know... The MOBA's infected for touch. Yeah. I mean, what? MOBA's like the biggest game available at the moment. Like that franchise yeah. or whatever. And yeah. to get that onto an iPhone, it hasn't been done yet. And this is a really... I wonder cool if it'll be simplified or if it'll still contain all of the skill, I guess is a good oh, word. Sure, because sure, yeah. I tried my hand, to be honest. I've been playing League a little bit here and there. And it takes like a year to get good, is what people are telling me. <laughs> and I'm, I've am i been called dead weight on my team and stuff like that. So uh, oh, yeah. I wonder if it'll have that kind of learning curve or if they're going to dumb it down, quote unquote. I, I guess it's going to be very user-friendly to start off with. Mm. I they just, want to draw yeah. people. I mean, people that play mobile games have this very, very small um, you know, attention span. Like I do. Whenever I play a mobile game, if I don't enjoy it, almost instantly I'm like, yeah, I'll just delete that. Yeah, because if a game's free, you increase your, your reach, but you also make it so people aren't committed to your game. They're just trying it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Cut the Rope. I honestly don't like Cut the Rope. Um, and I played it, and I was like, I can see why people like it, but I don't like it. I didn't pay for it. Delete. You know, there was yeah. there was no harm about it. But some games that I've bought, like uh, Where's My Water, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've played that. I played that, and I was like, oh, I'm not sure about it. But I was like, I paid for it. I'll give it another go, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So I think it is a big thing about it, whether whether people have to pay for stuff or not. It's. I just have a couple pages where I go through and download all the top grossing or free games that are out lately. Yeah. I was just showing everyone on my screen, and I'm just like, I randomly loaded up Star Wars Angry Birds right now, just because it was on the charts. So I just, I try it at least, um, yeah, and see what I think about it. Let's okay. See what happens on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I. It's always hard to see where mobile game is going, but hopefully. With this, with all the new games coming out, and um, like they showed, they showed an image at the beginning of like, oh, we're going to be supporting this publisher, this publisher, this publisher, um, which looks really promising. But that could be like one game in that year. Yeah, it's like okay, and if that flops, then that, yeah, that's it. So that new problem you were saying, where you couldn't see the the pigs, it's actually been fixed. I'm zooming out, and you could see you the can whole zoom map. Out. Yeah, it's crazy. See, that was the, that was what really annoyed me when somebody played it, and I was like, but you can't see what you're trying to aim at. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you, you just kind of, you can see the line and then you guess where it's going to go. So I guess you might be able to zoom out now. Or maybe you never, you always used to and I just never did zoom out. Yeah. Uh, who knows? But I I'm just, I always sure. was really bad at guessing where these birds go. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just it, failed a level. It's such a hard game. Is that the first level? No, I'm like the ninth level. I was going to say, the first level is like, you just have to touch the screen and it's like, well done. <laughs> <laughs> You've done great. You win everything. Yeah, exactly. Three stars. And what what is it with three stars at the moment? Everybody is going for three stars. Three stars. Literally everything. You complete something. It's like, yeah, we'll give you three stars. It's like, well, I wanted five. Yeah. <laughs> but literally, um, I'm trying to think. What? Plunder Pirates. It's three stars, right? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Call of Duty, three stars. I guess there's uh, just no better way to judge how well someone finished a level late. Like... At least as of lately, I don't know. Yeah, but whenever you get one star, you think, "Oh, I've not done well." Where really it means you've done, you've done it. You know, you've done your job. And yeah. then you get two stars, and it's meant to be, "Oh, you've done well." You feel like, "Oh, I've just done my job." And then three stars, it's meant to be, "Oh my god, you're amazing! Yeah. You're like the best thing that's ever happened to this game." Where really it's just like, "Ah, oh, I did it." <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's kind of one of those things, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, so these have kind of been our opinions anyway, guys. I mean, I'm sure you will have all had your own opinions. Um, but I think we speak for probably most people here, don't we? Yeah, probably. It's a very very, very general overview of of the mobile market at the moment. Yeah. And kind of, kind of what's happening. So if you guys have any suggestions uh, about anything that's, you know, coming out, coming in, uh, anything you want us to talk about as well... Uh, we've obviously just only started this. This is the first one, and it's actually been really nice just to kind of sit and chat and 
It's kind of, to be honest, what we talk about when we're not doing series together, just publicly. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, and uh, a lot of people have asked for it. A lot of people have like, well, you know, you do the forfeits, you do the gameplays together. Can you just like, you know, what do you do? This is what we do. We just kind of go over what's going on in our kind of aspect, which is mobile gaming. Yep. And it's pretty damn awesome in my eyes. But I don't know. I And I think one thing I actually, I, I'm kind of back on subject. One thing I really don't like about mobile gaming at the moment is the fact that people are trying to push it as a console aspect. Hmm. You know, mobile gaming is fine. Like, playing some mobile games on the big screen, like a racing game or something like that, is great. But when people are trying to make console-quality games, I just don't have the time to play it on my phone. Yeah. And if I did have the time, I'd play it on my PS Vita? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't have a Vita. But I guess pick up and play is what makes... Okay, that's a vertical game. I can't play that. (laughs) Sorry, I was just learning (laughs) at a game I never played before. It's vertical, though. Yeah, the pick up and play aspect is why when I go to top grossing here, none of these games require more than a couple of minutes of time at one time. Oh yeah, before you've like done something of an achievement. Yeah, before you've done. Besides Minecraft Pocket Edition, which that's its own beast. Oh, by the way, Minecraft. What do you think about being bought by Microsoft, Mojang? Yeah, uh, I honestly don't know what is going to change, if anything. I know. I don't really think it's a big deal. Like what are they? What are they really gonna do? I mean, I've seen some really funny stuff. Like you know, people have said, "Oh, the new Minecraft homepage," and it's just like adverts of, "Oh, Xbox Live, you've got to buy this, you've got to buy that," which is very Microsofty, I guess. But yeah, I think all they're gonna be able to do is throw some money at it. Probably not two point five billion. They're probably gonna have no money left to throw at Minecraft. Yeah, that's that's, that's a crazy amount. Can you imagine just getting that? Like, oh yeah, we'll buy this off you for two point five billion. Yeah. It's like, how will we fund our next project? Yeah. It's, it's like, I could just, well, I could just do Minecraft 2. Oh, imagine <laughs> if they did that. Oh, man. How peed off would my, I, there must be some kind of clause in it, but imagine, <laughs> like, next week, Minecraft 2 announced. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would be priceless. <laughs> I so hope they do that. That'd be pretty crazy. But I don't think they will. No. But, yeah, so I think we've wrapped everything up. 40 minutes about a variety of topics, you know, a huge part of whether we keep this going and stuff and whatnot guys will be uh your responses today so feel free to write whether you liked it whether you uh hated it i guess don't write that too much (laughs) no but like we want if you want to put a response instead of like a thumbs up like put like a paragraph on what you think you know about a certain subject we've spoken about because i I mean i don't know about you nick but i read through like 95% 95% of my comments. Yeah, the first um, thing like, is always loading the comment tab up. Yeah, and like we've said our opinions, and we'd love to know if you if you agree, just put agree, <laughs> then that's fine. But like you know, if you have something to say, definitely say it. And then if we do it again, we'll obviously bring up what you guys said in the comments and yeah. be like, oh, you know, this is what happens. Put the topics you want to hear about in the comments. Yeah, definitely. But Ooh. yeah, so I think we're all wrapped up here. I think we're all wrapped up. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the descriptions. Once again, hit up the other person's channel and see all these games that we're playing. Stuff like Definitely. that. Definitely. Definitely. All right, guys. We will see you hopefully in the next one. And we're probably, what, every like fortnight if we were doing it? Yeah, that's two weeks if you're not from the UK. Oh, you don't say that in the US? No. Okay, well, we'll plan to have some stuff as well that the UK say US don't and the US say UK don't for the next UK one. UK versus US. We yeah, should do basically. a challenge where, like, the loser has to speak with the other person's uh, slang for, like, yeah. a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that would be, like, rad. I don't know if I'd be able... Oh, my God, no way. Oh, man, if I don't get a cup of tea and jolly old God Jaffa cakes, I don't know how I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. But anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next episode.